Hey there friends and welcome back to Strange Rebel Gaming. I'm Brianna White and today we'll be playing through the next part of episode 4 of Life is Strange 2. This is going to be the end. Very intense. Take a second before we begin to like the video and we'll get on to that gameplay video. But first, I just want to communicate with all of you. How are you doing? Are you taking care of yourselves? Are you drinking lots of water? Are you getting lots of good sleep? I hope so, because I care about you and I want you to be okay. And this year has been very hard, has it not? It'll be all right. We'll get through it together. And now, let's get on to that gameplay video. Enjoy. So we are looking for the keys, but you know me, all I'm doing is exploring the Lizbeth's apartment. The Let's see, oh, patient name, Lizbeth, prescription, antibiotics for yeast infection, Atval for stress anxiety. Okay, so Lizbeth takes anxiety meds, interesting considering how she claims to be chosen and perfect. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> and I thought Clarence Steven were old fashioned. What's wrong with gingham? Chill, Sean. Coaxing lesson one. Get Daniel his favorite cereal. Why does that guy have such a giant nose and giant nostrils? They're, it's quite large. What does that have to do with the cereal is what I'm wondering. Whoa. This place is worse than army camp. Cleanliness is next to godliness. Daniel household duties. Notice how there aren't any other household duties. No, no Sarah Lee household duties or Lizbeth household duties. Just Daniel household duties. Make bed every morning. Clean dishes after every meal. Vacuum hall and room weekly. Take out trash Monday. Wash hair every two days. Help with Sunday laundry. Count your blessings daily. Blech. Listen, gratitude is very important. But like, this is like, I'm going to put my thumb on you. And I don't like that. Mm. Might be enough to open that door. Well, hopefully we can just find the keys. Daniel's haircut makes much more sense now. Sean, is everything all right in there? Uh, yes. We're trying to get into her office. She's locked it up, so it has to be there. Fine. I'll let you know if I see anything unusual. Got it. This is a lot of pills. That is a lot of pills. Especially for someone who doesn't believe in science. Yeah, isn't it interesting that Sarah Lee can't get medical help when she needs it, but Lizbeth can get medical help as much as she needs? Isn't that interesting? Yet another example of Lizbeth makes the rules, but doesn't even follow her own rules. Did she teach Daniel how to play this? Religious icon. Really? You're gonna call it that and not like a portrait of Jesus? Does she even believe in any of this? <sighs> oh, here. so much tan and beige. Oh, it's horrifying. Too much beige. Uh-oh. Uh, uh, uh. He's inside my body. Did you find anything there, Jacob? Okay, moving on. Nice prison view, dude. I swear, even her bed looks stern. Well, cleanliness is next to godliness. <sighs> yeah, that will definitely explain what's going on with Daniel. Miracles. Where do they come from? 
What do they mean? Okay. What the? She's completely obsessed with his power. Daniel tired after using gift. Nothing gives him energy after. New diet? He acts on his own. Scripture won't impel him. More prayer. More study. Daniel pouty today after lesson. Spare the rod and spoil the child. Not yet. Must show grace. Trust in the Lord. I did cry today watching the miracles. The child must be a vessel. What will he deliver unto us? And when? Ah, a key! Hello? Okay. I found a key. Good. I mean, we it. don't know if it's the key, but, you know. We found a key. Oh, shit. Looks like the Reverend Mother got to this letter before Jake. Interesting. Jacob, thank you so much for telling me about Daniel. I'm on my way to Haven Point now, and please let Daniel know, without getting him or you in trouble, that his family has not forgotten him. I don't know where Sean is, and I hope we can find him too. I hope the best for you, and if you need anything, do not hesitate to ask for help. I'm there. Take care, Karen. So Lizbeth intersected Jacob's mail. Very culty. What a great fucking family. Oh, it's Shit. horrible. She sure likes to gaze at her own success. Former uprising church pastor founds Haven Point. Hey, former uprising church pastor. Why former? What happened? Haven Point Church gains in popularity. Don't see anything of interest. Cigarettes! Your body is a temple. Why are you smoking then? Get out of the way, Jacob. I gotta open this drawer. Whoa. They kicked her out of church? <gasps> We're gonna find That'll out already. I'm excited. Oh, I can just read it here. Dear Reverend Fisher, this is Michael Bloom, and I know it's been a long time since we last talked, and I know that our I know that our talk was not a happy one. Despite our differences, we all knew you were a devout spirit to be reckoned with. Nobody has been surprised by your words and deeds touching, touching so many people. I hope you believe it when I say we are all proud of you. But we are also sorry and ashamed for asking you to leave the church without understanding the power of your faith. As we need to remind ourselves, mistakes can be life lessons. Even prideful deacons should be humbled before the Lord's wisdom. We hope you find it in your heart to forgive us, and we would be honored to host you for a visit anytime you wish. I bet this is her former church. I bet she got kicked out of that church for being a weirdo, and then founded Haven Point, and then now that Daniel is the miracle worker, I bet her old church is like, come back, Lizbeth, come back, we're so sorry. Jacob, can I look in this closet or not? Jacob. Mm. <sighs> Nothing interesting. Well, I had to check, didn't I? What if there was a dead body in there? Is this Daniel's room? Oh, yeah. it's connected? Oh. It's depressing. Well, Lisbeth doesn't believe in material possessions, so... Doesn't mean you need to decorate your house like a prison. He looks happy. Oh. Fuck. I can't believe I missed it. Is she forcing him to do this? Why is he accepting all that? Oh, sentences. He just had to write this over and over and over and over again. Those whom I love, I rebuke and discipline. So be earnest and repent. Revelations 319. This is basically like, I discipline you because I love you. I'm sorry, that's disgusting. Happy birthday, Daniel. Oh, 
shit. People are really all over his power. Oh, he's getting fan mail? Ew. Smooth for secrecy. Dearest Daniel, I know you may never read this, but I had to reach out after witnessing your Holy Spirit last week. I'm a sinner. I have not yet been a church-going woman for years. Or sorry, I have not been a church-going woman for years. But I heard a story from my neighbor about Liz Elizabeth Fish and your miracles. Fish. I could feel the Lord whisper to me, and then I drove all the way from Truckee to Haven Point. When I saw your angel face, I knew my faith was coming back. You showed us that God is alive and working through Daniel. You raised the cross like he raised Jesus. I have found my faith again and am more strong than ever. You were sent to prove that God's love is real. I am saving money to see you again and pray I can be of service forever. Your servant... Lori Conway. P.S. If you want to talk, here is my number. He's a child. Hate it. Hate it. Jacob looking in the closet again. Come on. Papers. What is this? Daniel Fisher? Oh, no. <gasps> no, that's total bullshit. And creepy. Oh, no. Lizbeth is making it like... He's her son. Oh, no. But they did go to a train museum. That that seems kind of fun, honestly. I mean, not with her. It doesn't sound fun to go with her, but... Oh, what are you hiding, Daniel? <laughs> oh, so he likes Sara Lee. Cute. His drawing got so much better from this picture to the other ones. The Book of Daniel. So much for hot dog, man. Okay, so it's his job, I guess, to like annotate and study the Bible. He has this one highlighted. I, Daniel, was troubled in spirit, and the visions that passed through my mind disturbed me. I approached one of those standing there and asked him the meaning of all this. So he told me and gave the interpretation of these things. The four great beasts are four kings that will arise from the earth. But the holy people of the Most High will receive the kingdom and will possess it forever. Yes, forever and ever. Okay. When you take it out of context, man, it means no sense at all. No matter Aww. what happened, I guess Finn was a real friend to Daniel. I mean, putting him in danger is not really what a real friend does, but okay. This is quite the change from power, Baron. Yeah, friends. look at these drawings compared to the drawing of Sarah Lee. Come on now. I'm not surprised he kept that ugly thing. He was so glad when he found it. At least he had a memory from home. <sighs> this is still better than that ugly white shirt she's making him wear. I don't know why we're picking it up, but I feel like it's important that we do. Locked, of course. Well, try the key. Nailed it. Shit. Maybe it opens the other door. Well, we didn't find two keys. We only found one key. So, and we did look in all, I mean, I think we looked in all the drawers. Is there something in that waste basket? Not that there would be something in the waste basket, but. Let's give this key a try. Yes. <gasps> it worked. Okay, I was really worried it was not oh, going to work and perfect. we were going to be in trouble. Whoa. Is this her personal archive or something? Yeah, she keeps track of everything in here. Stuff about my sister must be in this one. OK, 
Hey, I've got something. Must be what you're looking for. Damn. She has pneumonia? That's so easy to treat. And what I get, Lisbeth knows damn well she needs medical treatment. That's criminal. She's insane. Look, she has a file on you too. <laughs> you can take a peek and see how she really treats her flock. Man, what's all this? Were you like sick? Conversion therapy? <gasps> Did they... Wanted to cure you from... Oh. Being... <sighs> Pretty much. I always showed more interest in boys than girls. <sighs> they thought I was a freak. A sinner. <laughs> Is that why you... Ran away? Yep. <laughs> Took me five years to understand what was up. I was too scared. <gasps> Confused. I really did believe I was a sinner, so I thought I had to atone for my sins. Atone? <sighs> for what sins? I don't get how they can preach this kind of crap. I mean... <sighs> You met Finn and everyone. Are they sinners then? Of course not. I, I just didn't know different, Sean. I believed them. Damn, Jake. After a few years, I was in a really bad place. I, I tried to hurt myself. Elizabeth was very upset. We had a long chat. She told me I should leave. Go see the world and figure things out. I, I don't really get her, Sean. But Lisbeth does believe in all of this stuff. I had no clue about your life here. I'm... I'm sorry, Jake. I'm sorry I brought Daniel here. I was just so blown away when I saw what he could do. It was like a real miracle. I, I thought I'd, I'd found my faith again. Instead, I... I just heard him. Then let's make things right. We just have to get Daniel out of here. I hope so. And I'll get my sister to a hospital. Have her treated. I hope they'll help her. Yeah. Anything would be better than here. Right. I just hope they can still cure her. Sean, are you there? <sighs> What's up? You got company. That thug who works for Elizabeth. He's just holding some files. Doesn't seem to be onto you. This guy is dangerous, Sean. Hey, trust me. I have a good plan to get him out of your way. He'll give you more time. Just give me the word. Yeah. See what you can do. I will. Get ready. Sean, we gotta hide. Now. Hurry up. No, there's files in there. Come on, Sean, we need to hide. There's files in there too! <laughs> no! If he finds us here, we're screwed. Closet's the only place you can hide because you can't open the door. There's literally nowhere else to hide. What am I supposed to do? <sighs> Hate this. How much time did I even have? Mm. Weird. Better tell Lisbeth about this. We didn't close the cabinet. Ugh. Come on. Do 
Do what you gotta do and then get out, sir. No, 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 no! Huh? What? What the fuck is going on? Sean, do you think it's gotta be Karen? Oh, he's gone. Let's get out of here. Oh man, that was crazy. Maybe you could have been searching that while you were in mm, there. Random stuff. Okay. Take? The fuck? What is it? Please I think be that's something the file illegal. Nicholas had. Take a look. Please be something illegal so I can bust them. What? Is she trying to adopt Daniel? That's exactly. Not illegal. And she's doing it under the table, of course. I mean, he is a fugitive, so it kind of is illegal. Man. Well, any under the table adoption is for sure illegal, so. Is she actually scared of me? I'm sending you this message as a warning that our church may have a disturbed stalker who claims to be Daniel's brother. He is a Mexican teenager with one eye between 16 to 18 who calls himself Sean. Do not engage with him in any way if you happen to spot him. Do not call the police. Alert me or Nicholas at once. He must not be allowed near Daniel or any other members of the church. I pray I have not alarmed you, but we have a responsibility to protect ourselves from any outside threat. Bless you all for your faith, love, and strength, Reverend Fisher. Better get Daniel out of here before she gets too much attention. Oh, she's trying to put Daniel on a billboard. No. In the door. Mm, I don't think there's anything worth a look in here. Fuck. Yeah, so she knows she's all done about some serious research. The Diaz situation. And still acts all naive. In Seattle. Knows all about Daniel at this point. Seriously, how can she ignore that? Dear Reverend Fisher, I hope you will forgive what must feel like an intrusion into your church and beliefs, but I have great respect for what you've built over the past decade. I have no doubt the Lord has chosen you for a reason. I'm a longtime personal family friend of the Hackermans, including their precious daughter who has had too long a time of illness. Blessedly, there is some medical help available that her family has, however, denied due to your advice. They see her pneumonia as a spiritual problem that only you can solve through prayer. While I believe that is partially true, I believe that we have to work with the miracles provided by medicine. I hope you can see the severity of this situation as I feel some personal responsibility for Sarah Lee and her family who are devout people. I'd like to talk next week if possible and hear your take on the matter. I hope you are not offended by my outreach. I look forward to speaking with you soon. Sincerely, Reverend Oliver Grand, Calvary Center for Christ. Yeah, a religious person who's not a total nutcase, who has any level of common sense that people who are sick Need medical treatment. It is very simple. I can't believe this type of shit still happens today. So this is Jacob's file. Secretive, refuses to compete in sports, shows little interest in girls, questions scriptures, Jacob feels shame. I feel the Lord working through me to save Jacob from himself and the temptations of sin. I have told his parents that he must attend daily prayer sessions with me until we have cast out his confusion. This is a test of my faith, and I will not fail him or Jacob. Flyer. Nobody is born gay. Reparative therapy works. Guaranteed testimonials. Trained counselors standing by. Contact us today and let us pray. Evil. Evil. Jacob, note to another boy. Hi, Bruce. Meet me in the parking lot at 11 p.m. Be careful. Can't wait to see you again, Jay. <laughs> oh, shit. Why did Daniel tell her so much? Daniel, wait. Um, what happened to Daniel in Seattle? Does anybody else know what he can do? Search for any living relatives. Daniel personality traits. Missing mother. Likes to be creative. Build things. 
Trains his gift regularly, doesn't remember everything or doesn't want to, pouts too much, spoiled, misses old friends, Noah, Lila, likes to watch my sermons, mumbles in his sleeps, love cho loves Choco Crisps. Today, Daniel told me about his layover in Beaver Creek, Oregon. He was hiding out at his grandparents and made friends with another boy like him. Chris or Chris? Of course, he wanted to stay. The police showed up, but Daniel wasn't clear about what happened next. I know he's holding back, but the Holy Spirit will free him from his sins of omission. I knew this guy was sketchy, but... Whoa. John Nicholas Bowen, incarcerated in Salt Lake City 1997 to 2008, still has contacts among white gangs, strong faith but never read the Bible, former meth addict, sensitive topic, inclined to pride. Newspaper clip. Three teenagers rob liquor store, owner shot dead. On the night of September 20th, a group of masked young men broke into Sally's Liquor Store, South Salt Lake. Under the influence of alcohol and drugs, they beat the clerk and stole the cash register. When caught by the store's owner on their way out, the oldest man pulled a gun and letter. Dear Lizbeth, I found your address in my jacket this morning and remembered how I ended in this motel room last night with a meal in my stomach and a warm light in my chest. I can't thank you enough for what you did. Your kind and patient words pulled me out of a downward spiral I've been falling in for weeks. If I remember correctly, you said you were looking for hands to help you build a... Okay, so this John Nicholas Bowen is probably her thug. Okay. Former meth addict, sensitive topic. Inclined to pride. Oh, flying walkie-talkie. What are you doing there? Okay. That's fine, then. Does she read anything else? Well, no. Now, is this the locked door that leads to Daniel's room? Are we supposed to do something about that? All right, we searched everything in here. Now we're just supposed to get out of here, I assume. Leave the house. Ah, okay. Hopefully the coast is clear. Look at that. <laughs> Your mom is hardcore, Sean. Yeah, I guess she is. Dang, Karen. So we're all good now. You set that ablaze. I'll go get Sarah Lee while you get Daniel. Then let's meet up at the car, okay? All right. You be careful, okay? You too, Sean. Good luck. Okay, you're going that direction. Come in, Karen. See anything? No, you're all clear. Awesome. Talk later. Okay, I'm gonna run and see if Daniel's training area is still set up. And if I can do anything with it. So this is Daniel's not so secret guard. Looks like no. So forget Great. that. So then which house is Daniel in? The church. Okay. So I guess we're not entering this little side shed. It might be a kitchen of some sort. Okay. Should we enter through the back? I guess we can go in through the back door. So I guess that's what we're doing. <sighs> it's locked. locked. Of course. So we're not is actually the case. Is there anybody here? Looks like no. Looks like the coast is clear. Anything interesting? Discoverable? No. Okay. Noted. Uh-oh. Oh, that's Karen. Okay. Whew! I was gonna say, we're in for a confrontation here. Karen's also just jogging. What is she Mission looking at? Accomplished? Yep. Now the hard part. Did you find what Jacob needed? Huh. And a whole lot more. Yeah, Thanks this church help. is creepy. That was pretty sweet. I try. You did well. Hey, I'm here if you need me, Sean. 
I know, Karen. Thanks. <laughs> no problem. Here we go! So you know what you're gonna do? No. Definitely Let's not. Oh Lord, let your power speak through this young vessel. I am your humble Sean, servant and will obey your this? every command. Speak to me. It's Daniel. Speak. I told you, he's kind of special. Hey. Sean, you came back? Enano, little cub. Come with me, Daniel. We're leaving. I'm sorry, Sean. I can't. She's full of shit, dude. And she's using you. Daniel has made his choice, Sean. But I'm offering you to join us again. Put your faith in me. And you'll be family. Never. So that's your final decision. May the Lord have mercy on your lost soul. It's time for you to leave our sanctuary. Right now. Not without my brother. I'm not going anywhere. This is my home. She's my family now. Daniel. Listen, she's not your family. Sean, who is she? Our mother. Uh. She came here for you. Oh, praise the Lord. Another miracle at our church. Wonderful. Uh, it's all right, Daniel. Go see her. I mean, she's right there. Don't be afraid. I... I don't know her. Of course. I know. This is hard for you, my son. Stop calling him that. You're just manipulating him, you sicko. <laughs> That's in the eye of the beholder. Yeah. But since you are his mother, let me ask you. How could you let your child wander alone in the wilderness? Where were you when Daniel was lost? Where? Listen, Daniel. I came here as soon as I found out you were here on your own. I'm not on my own. Children are a gift from the Lord. They are a this reward is excruciating. from him. I just want to like were blessed scoop up Daniel, with a divine potato sack gift. him, and then just like get out. And you cast GTFO. him out into we'll the world. We'll discuss later. Who the hell are you? You might have been his mother once, but when you abandoned him, you also gave up your rights. Isn't your God all about forgiveness? You have no a matter idea of fact. what the Bible says. How can you pretend to care about these two children? You left them and your husband to seek out your base desires. Daniel, honey, she's trying to trick you. Please think by yourself. You're smarter than this. Daniel. She's responsible for what happened to your father. You don't know anything. It was an accident. That's what this world is about. Accidents, injustice, pain. I'm just so sorry, Daniel. I know. I know how much I hurt you and your brother by leaving. I know that's not enough, but I hope we can talk about this together. That's what I've been trying to tell your brother, and I'm so glad he listened. You gotta trust us. She's using you for her selfish desires. Daniel, this time the choice is yours. Are you going to believe her or me? I... Uh, I... That's right. You can't tempt Daniel from this garden. He'll stay with us, his true family, and we'll never leave him. Go to hell. Come on, Daniel. No! Stop! Holy shit. Reverend, are you okay? Nicholas, they're, they're heretics sent to desecrate our, our church. Okay. What now? Don't you understand? This is over, Sean. You have to talk to him. You can convince him, Sean. 
Oh I boy. won't leave you, Daniel. Not here. Don't be so stubborn, Sean. Your brother chose his path. Your friend, Sara Lee, she's very sick. And Lisbeth won't take her to a doctor. What? She won't do this that. This is pointless. Daniel knows who to trust. I know. She went to see doctors for herself when she was in pain. She never waited for a miracle when she was in danger. What? Is that... Is that true? Reverend Mother? Have faith in me, Daniel. Man, this feels as nerve-wracking as Kate Marsh. I know what I'm doing. God is speaking to me. And I feel like I have to, to say you. exactly the right things. She was kicked out of her previous church. Yeah, they knew she was crazy. So she left and founded Haven Point. Why would they do that? Did she do something wrong? Liar! I left on my own because they were all blind. Don't believe his lies, Daniel. Oh, what do I say? Oh boy. What do you think Dad would say if he saw us right now? He wanted us to stick together. I don't know. I want you to stay. But you're not ready, Sean. Uh. See what you have done. Hey, Inano. Uh. Back off. No one is going to keep me away from you. I said stop! <sighs> came all this way for you, and nobody will stop me. I'll even cross hell or whatever if I need- uh, Sean! He must learn. Yeah, that's your version of learning, isn't it? Listen, I did my best job to be a good brother. And I know I probably failed. I took you for granted. I put you in danger, and I'm sorry. Sean. Don't listen to him. He, he left you just like that harlot did. Shut him up. He can hit me as much as he wants. I won't give up on you. Uh, Don't hit him. Uh, Don't let them do that, Daniel. <sighs> if I could go back in time, I would. Oh. We'd be in our living room in Seattle. That would get us pizza and snacks, then pick the movie, because we would always fight about it. And he always picked your movie. But I can't do that. All I can do now is fight. Quiet! What are you waiting for? We're the best team in Anu. Stop so it! So we have to keep going no. forward. What are You're you gonna doing? You're gonna kill him! Please! He's my brother! You can burn down our church, but not our faith. Daniel knows you're telling the truth. Don't give up. <sighs> so tense, nothing, man. Nothing is gonna stop me, Daniel. We're brothers. I know. Dad always said our blood link was the most important thing. You know uh, it. Please! Uh, stop! Uh, Leave him uh, alone! Daniel! Uh, Listen to him. I won't stop. No matter what she does. I'll come right back. Again. And again. <laughs> I love you, Daniel. I do too. Shut him up! Now! Don't move! Just stop! If you want to kill me, then do it! I'm not afraid. 
Do it! Shoot! Don't! Go ahead. What? Shoot me in the face. And live with me. Now! to get out of that building, though. Like, I'm all sorry. of them. I'm sorry. I was so confused. I thought she was someone else. I'm sorry. Sean, we need to get out of here. Now. No. No. You started this fire. You will all burn in this hell. Move. Uh, not Let if Daniel go. has anything to say about Move it. Move it. You won't leave this place. Not with me alive. You are crazy, lady. Open the door, and then. Daniel, after all I did for you, you can still repent. I don't believe you anymore! Oh, that was a little bit more than I had expected. Ugh. See, the reason I didn't choose Threaten Lizbeth is because I knew he had the gun, and I didn't want him to threaten her with the gun in front of Daniel because you know how Daniel learns from Sean. And I didn't, I noticed that he picked up the gun and it made me very nervous. So I didn't want to go with threaten. So I chose ask Daniel. But that is the only reason is because Sean was holding a gun. to leave things I what can I say with an ending like that this episode delved into some really tense and intense and personal and crunchy topics 
some themes about something America is definitely going through a reckoning with right now. And that's really hard. It's really hard to talk about these kinds of issues in a gentle and constructive and understanding way because it's it's so passionate for so many people. And what else can I say that isn't said better by reminding everybody to lead with love? If everything you're doing comes from a place of love and makes you feel good and makes the other person feel good, that's it. That's the goal. That's what we should be aiming for, to make ourselves and others feel better. That's it. That's my mission. That's my personal mission is to help myself and others feel better. And I know this playthrough sometimes delves into those really crunchy, difficult topics almost to a fault, almost too much, almost too hard, too personal, too difficult. But we're in it together and conversations are important to be had. So let's talk respectfully in the comments. The moderators, of course, will be making sure that it stays respectful. So please, please be mindful of that. Lead with love, always and forever. Please remember to like the video if you enjoyed it. Share it with all your friends so they can enjoy it too. And of course, remember to subscribe to Strange Rebel Gaming so you don't miss the next video. That's all. I love you all. Again, please do some self-care. Please do something that makes you feel cared for, for yourself, okay? Self-care. It'll save us all. All right, that's all. Bye!